Uh, this is Aeon in post here. Uh, timestamps will be at the bottom, so you can skip to the part you want. Okay, bye. What's up, everybody? My name is Aeon the Weave, and today we have some exciting news. Just recently, in fact, not just more than a few hours ago, Square Enix dropped the Final Fantasy 16 Ambition trailer. Now, this is kind of crazy for me because I have been star for content. Some of you may not understand or know, but I am a massive Devil May Cry fan. I am also a massive Final Fantasy 12 fan, and I'm also a massive Final Fantasy 14 fan. Now, why is this all relevant is because, as some of you may know, the team that's working on this is not only a CBU 3, or Creative Business Unit 3, the team behind Final Fantasy 14. Some of the people who used to work on Final Fantasy 12 actually also now work in Creative Business Unit 3. Furthermore, they also got the battle designer from Devil May Cry in this game. So needless to say, this is a very highly anticipated title for me. And a trailer just seemingly dropped out of nowhere. So today we're going to do a little bit of a reaction. Um, but we're also going to try and analyze a few things since I play all the games where these devs come from. So hopefully I should have some better insight rather than just kind of staring at the screen going, Nice. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> not, no shade, of course. I'm not actually naming anyone, but, you know, really, I'm just being a dickhead. So let's go. Okay. It has been 1,500 years since the fall of our forebears. We love the maps. We love the maps. Eorzea. And Valisthea. <laughs> Ivelisse, let's go. Square Enix and Creative Business Unit 3, my boys. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. The blight suck this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. Darkness spreads as day gives way to twilight. The Mother's Flame now all but a flicker. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. Right. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. If I recall, the crystals are the antagonists here. A bit of a subversion from the usual Final Fantasy trope. Area, bastion of tradition. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. The Holy Empire of San Brek. Cool. Where ambition is divine. So we're doing a lot of the world building here. The banner shall fly over every city Describing in Describing each nation. This is the Empire faction, and it's an interesting uh, thing because the they seem to be the mixing a theocracy with the Empire, something that's not typically done. And what of our wives? <laughs> Dollar store, Ulda. No, I'm joking. <laughs> without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. The Iron Kingdom forged in faith and fear. Their souls were sullied with the stain of ether. I merely we're, we're back to ether again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Or the kingdom of Wulud, indomitable in its isolation. The dark swallows more of the realm with oh. each passing. Oh, oh my. Oh my. The fringes fade, Holy the shit. It's fucking Asians again. <laughs> From a single no I'm kidding, spark. I'm kidding. Let's go. Will the land ignite? I promise, like, after this, I'll actually listen. In the year 860. Okay, this is a very story-heavy, like, tri Ooh, okay, so now we know what happens. Jeez. Hey, okay! Decapitation! That's cool. That, that seriously, the, the, the hoodie is like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and Walker. Also, wait, hold on. I'm so sorry. It says HD, but I swear to God, what is the bitrate on this? Okay, I'm gonna... I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. The bitrate looks crunchy as all fucking hell, that's why. Fall upon the dominance. Painting their destinies black as night. A lot more context now for like what's what the other trailer was. Summon beasts of great might should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Uh huh. And so I became their puppet. Right. What makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent. Oh, okay. So they they tax the user quite a lot. 
when you, when going into their iconic forms. Very cool. Very nice. Oh shit! That Shiva. I like these like uh, demi-human forms. They're really sick. Oh, there we go. Some gameplay. Let's go. And the bit rate's dead because it's. Thank you, Game Spot. Gee, ooh, that looked fun. Uh, you can definitely see the Final Fantasy XIV like raid design in here a little bit. Christ, that's loud. Big explosions. We love big explosions. Who shall bow to me? Very well. Come then. Oh, that must be Odin. The strength of your will. That's really cool. Rise, ye crownless kings. A reckoning is upon you. A war of the icons. The war of the icons. I love that. That's sick. That's really sick. Also, <laughs> I was gonna say, man, this really reminds me of uh, Elden Ring. And then they went, oh, summer 2023. That, yeah, that's a, yeah. One year away, that's pretty much expected. Right, I was gonna say, this sounded a lot like Elden Ring, and then they said, Come, rise ye tarn, I mean, rise ye I Wait, what did they say? <laughs> rise ye crownless kings. <laughs> rise ye no. crownless kings, ye and become Elden Lord. I'm sorry if I blew out the microphone. Right, lots... And I mean lots of lore building. Combat was featured as per usual. Like combat was only like featured uh like pretty much at the end of the um trailer. So I mean nothing too new we've seen other than like the new demi-human forms, I'm gonna call them, where they're not quite in their full iconic forms. I wonder if these guys are gonna act as like the party members of some sort? I'm, because I'm not entirely sure how it's the system's gonna work. Um Sound design's really nice. I love the sound design. And then they have these like they're they're really pushing these like um icon 1v1s, like the almost like a fighting game. I don't know how they're gonna work with like in within the context of the actual game itself. Uh, just because like you don't see any of the inputs on the bottom left or right corners, which you normally see in the combat here. Uh so are these gonna be purely cinematic? Or is it going to be a quick time event, turn based? I'm not entirely sure what they're trying to go for here, so uh, that still remains to be to be seen. Um, but I do like the idea that it seems that all the icons are kind of being used and abused for the most part. Like you could see that this is heavily weighing on their uh, bodies. So on, on top of subversing the whole trope of the crystals and the mother crystals are the benevolent force in this world i wonder if they're gonna go with the idea that these individuals are going to rebel against their own nations rather than the idea of like one particular nation being good and you know the driving force behind uh the protagonist so like you know it's more of an individualistic story rather than the sort of themes of being the collective you know the rebels versus the empire kind of thing so we, instead of having one singular antagonist or antagonistic faction it's like kind of just rising up against the world would be very cool uh certainly would be different from a lot of the final fantasies we see where a lot of the time it's us versus Empire, us versus one antagonist, so like Sephiroth or Kuja. Hell, even the, the Emperor from Final Fantasy 1 technically is like sort of a demon you have to fight, fight you know, the whole defeat the demon lord trope. Uh, instead, you have to defeat God, which I guess happens a lot anyway, but you, you defeat like an evil God, not the actual God, you know? And so this is, if they're trying to subvert Final Fantasy like that to go for a more gritty and darker kind of theme, I would appreciate that. Right, so let's uh, let's go for a deeper dive as to what each nation represents in terms of its morals and uh, ethics and the Grand ideals. Of Rosaria, bastion of tradition. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. The Holy Empire of San Breck, where ambition is divine. Evil Ishgard. The Imperial Banner shall fly over every city in storm. All shall bow before their emperor. The Dalmechian Republic, whose fortunes shift with the desert sands. And cat mercenaries, gotcha. <laughs> and what of our wise rulers? 
goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. The Iron Kingdom for Did somebody say chaos? Disdain of ether. I merely cleanse them of their corruption. So it's like a cult on a kingdom level. That's interesting. Normally fanatic leaders only command a very small faction so i'm curious to see how they're going to spin basically an entire cult being in charge of a very large area that needs to be managed on a very complex infrastructure Willood, indomitable in its isolation the dark swallows more of the realm with each pass it's like they always got to have a short-haired baddie now it's like you've got your stroller now you got her it's just uh, thank you first of all square enix and uh creative business unit three definitely uh, keep doing it. Highly appreciate. The people flocked. This guy looks exactly like the warrior of light from Final Fantasy XIV. Like with the stubble and everything, even the hairstyle's the same. And the ornate chest plate looks a lot, like a lot like the paladin armor. To the mother crystals. Doesn't help how he just appears in the darkness as well, like an Asian. Or the kingdom of Wulud, indomitable in its isolation. Will flock to the mother crystals. From a single thing. Interesting. So they've like separated from religion. I mean, yeah, it's obvious that they dislike the light, but I wonder if they're actually waging war, either cold or direct, against the crystals. Hmm. Yeah, not much known about them. They are they are mysterious. No idea. The Imperial Army will march upon Rosaria. Okay, so we're still fighting the Imperial Army, though. To summon beasts of great might should command respect. So Joshua is the uh has left us outcast. It is the Phoenix confirmed. So now that I mean we knew that a little bit, but now that's like there's no doubt whatsoever. Um and it's really interesting because like there there should be one dominant per element. But here is Ifrit being an outlier, which is probably the shadow that the voice is talking about. I mean, okay, overall, overall everything was good. Like, I like the designs of the characters, the, the, the world building is definitely interesting. Ever since. I can hear in the prelude as well, Final Fantasy prelude just in the background, very nice. Yeah! Overall, uh, really good trailer. I mean... I think it's like most people would like to see more gameplay, but quite frankly, I'm actually thankful that they're giving a lot more context as to what the world is about, because a lot of the details have been rather vague about Final Fantasy 16. So now we have a little bit more clarity as to the setting of the world, and now we can ask more focused questions. Like, are these factions, despite standing against the Empire, truly going to stand as one united front or is this going to be as the voiceover says a more all-out war between several different factions vying for supremacy especially since all their uh, values and their ideologies differ greatly from each other one's more about tradition religion the other, there's literally another one that like completely denounces it and seems to be uh, antagonistic towards it overall uh can't wait to see more Summer 2023. I will play this game for sure. Oh, I need to get an Elgato as well to record gameplay. God damn it! All right, whatever. Anyway, uh, right. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Aeon the Weeb. I make whatever I want. I used to make a bunch of anime opening parodies of video games, but copyright kind of hit me in the ass. And because of that, Unfortunately, that did mean that I had to kind of stop making those type of videos. But lately, lately, to be fair, copyright's been a little bit more lenient. They don't outright at least ban my videos if there's copyrighted content, so that's very nice. Um, at least not automatically. So, hey, if you want to see more of that type of content, um, let me know down below. Otherwise, I will be making typical game uh, type content. This is my first time actually doing a reaction video for this channel. But normally, normally, it's going to be montages stream highlights you know just just me commentating on stuff and uh, in the future i will be aiming to make long form essay videos which are analysis on video game design industry or anything that really piques my fancy so if you do like the sound of that hey maybe hit the subscribe button and yeah let me know what you thought of uh, this trailer down below. Like, I'm curious to hear if you all agree or disagree with my takes. Or maybe I missed something because, you know, I don't see everything. And you lovely people might be more intelligent than I. 
I don't mind. Uh, so yeah, uh, take care of yourselves and uh, stay frosty, everyone. Bye bye. Also follow me on Twitch.tv/AonXII. Okay, bye for now, for real. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs>